Results with me, Chloe Ting's two week shred challenge 2021 has commenced. And I'm inviting all of you guys to get results with me. So, hello guys, my name is Stephanie from Lifestyle by Stephanie. And I'm, as you can tell, like I'm super, super excited about this because we're gonna rock this. And my plan is as follows because I thought about this whole concept about people posting so many like result videos and you get inspired by it, you get inspiration, you try it yourself. And at some point, you, you either give up, you lose motivation or inspiration, and it's just like, it just never happens. Like no, nothing really happens. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This will not be such a video because I'm gonna keep you guys accountable. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna post on Thursday, Saturdays, as well as on Tuesdays, um, the step-by-step -step, like process over the next couple of weeks to get the results. So just hit the subscribe button right now as well as the notification bell next to it so I can hold you guys accountable because we're gonna rock this together. Even if you do this challenge after we all finished, I'll still be in the comments, that is a promise. I'll be in the comments and I'm gonna motivate you so you can reach your goals. If you have any questions about nutrition or food um, and if I can help, I will help and I just want everyone who wants to get results to get the results so this is my promise to you guys start right now with me I'm gonna be two days ahead of you <laughs> and I'll be posting her workouts one and two you can also get them from her website but I'll be posting them in my comment section below and as well as um, food I'll be posting my recipes I'll be eating very clean so I'm gonna make sure that we get results but no worries you don't have to restrict any like calories we're gonna we're gonna eat enough you guys we're gonna have the energy to get the results so as you can see I'm really excited about this and yeah we Without further ado, let's dive into day one and two. I'll see you in the following weeks. We can do this. It is the 1st of August 2021, it's a Sunday and this is my form. This is how I look right now before the challenge. Um, I measured myself as well so you can have some kind of reference to see the progress if you like to. Um, my waist is 69 centimeters. I just want to make a disclaimer here that you don't have to measure yourself. I actually disagree of the whole concept about thinking and concentrating on numbers. This is just to show um, like the journey of the two weeks with the clean food and the exercise and what it actually does in two weeks. So my hips are 97 centimeters. So it's breakfast time on day one. I had a delicious oatmeal. All of my recipes will be linked down below without any calorie mentioning because I know you guys will probably ask me how many calories did this have and I appreciate the comment but I want to talk about the topics of calories a bit later on more because there are certain things you need to pay attention to because if you restrict calories it just will cause a rebound so let me get deeper into this later and I tell you how you can stay lean and fit not counting calories but for now let's get into workout number one Hey everyone, we've got a 15 minute HIIT workout today that's going to work your whole body. Since my first workout was a HIIT workout, I really really enjoyed it. Um, you can see the stats from my fitness watch right here, where you can see um, the exhaustion, the calories burned, the length of the training, etc. Please keep in mind this is just reference, um, it always depends on how how well you do the exercises, how much effort you put into it, maybe on your day, um, it's just like what was on this day. For me, keep that in mind, if you do it yourself and you have different stats, that's totally fine as, as long as you do the exercises. By 
look of my face in the beginning, you can tell that this was a very strange exercise for me. It looked hard, it was hard, I loved it. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Um, as you can see, my stats are down as well. Um, remember, this is a more muscle focused exercise, it's not really cardio focused, so the number of calories you burn will be less depending on your heart rate because that will not be as exhausted as um, with cardio exercises. But again, we don't focus on calories, we focus on growth, on fitness, on health, and definitely on progress. So keep that in mind. Post workout, just smoothie time. Oh, I love this. So, uh, the recipe is down below, and I want to talk about the protein content in a post workout smoothie because I put in chia seeds. Chia seeds are high in protein, high in fiber, as well as high in many minerals, and I don't use any um, protein powder anymore. Why? Because it's isolated. And it's like isolated fat or isolated sugar. It's not the best for our body if we eat things without the fiber, if, it's, if it doesn't come in the whole foam, we get less satisfied. And this is a trick to lose weight as well. If you eat things in their intact form, your body takes what it needs, leaves the rest out, and you will just maintain your weight effortlessly. While getting all the minerals and nutrients and phytonutrients and all the good stuff for your body to keep healthy and if you're afraid you're not eating enough protein, you can actually calculate it. You don't eat as much as you think. And if you eat whole foods, you will get enough protein as long as you eat enough calories during the day. How do you know you eat enough calories? Well, you're not hungry anymore. It's dinner time. So I had a big plate of rice with veggies as well as some kidney beans. Um, and I put on top some nutritional yeast and vinegar because the daily consumption of vinegar may also help with weight loss, though the effect was modest. In a study, CT scans showed that vinegar groups subjects lost a significant amount of their visceral fat. That's the abdominal fat that is particularly associated with chronic disease risk. And the recipe is down below. Um, some of you might ask now why is she eating so many carbs in the form of rice and maybe veggies? Well, carbs ain't making you fat. I hate to break it to you, but it's simply not true. If it would be true, um, the whole Chinese population wouldn't look as um, healthy BMI um, as they do. So um, just try to get rid of the concept because if you look at it, even from a mass standpoint, one gram of carb has four calories, one gram of protein has four calories, one gram of fat has nine calories. And the thing about carbs is your body doesn't like storing them as fat because for your body to transform carbs as fat, you ha your body has to change the composition of the carb into fat and that itself costs the body calories that it has to burn in order to tra transfer this. So it's really important. Um, to understand that this concept is simply not true. You, obviously, you can get fat from eating too much carbs, but that's not the carbs' fault. It's what you eat with the carbs. It's the fat in the donut. It's the milk and the chocolate. You see this concept because it has been around for a long time and it's based on the proven results achieved by Duke University that nutrition experts agree that a high carb, low fat, low salt, and high fiber diet um, can improve blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease and control your weight. So just get rid of the concept, eat enough carbs, just make sure it's a healthy form that your carbs come in. And back to training. It's time to train our bags. I really, really enjoyed this back exercise. I didn't expect to enjoy it, but it was really, really good. Especially the beer crawl thingy that you will see in a second was really enjoyable for me. And let me know what you think about this exercise. There it is. It's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> As always, you can see the stats on my screen um, for your reference. Just, yeah, take with that what you want. And so let's move on to the next workout which is an arm and upper body workout. I have 
to say, after the back workout, my arms were already kind of tired, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I had a hard time um, doing all these exercises. But it's good. It's good to set new um, motions to the body and make it work harder to push out of the comfort zone to get the growth that we want to have. So I really appreciate the toughness of this workout. And on to the last workout of the day, which is an only eight minute lower ab workout. And that was really good. I know I say that a lot, but actually like just a quick eight minute workout for your abs is fantastic. I love the time. Thank you, Chloe Ting, for presenting me with this workout. Um, I really enjoyed it. Although I sometimes don't look like I enjoyed, but actually that was pretty, pretty neat. Let me know what you think. Which is your favorite body part that you like to work out? Smash that like button for me and leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye! And a quick post-workout smoothie that is amazing and delicious and nutritious and amazing and you have to just try it definitely because it's so good. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I had this delicious movie. I know I'm, I'm funny. Um, uh, no, I'm not. I had this delicious movie right before going to work. So what you see now is my dinner and my like snack time thing that I eat at work. Um, yeah, the recipe is in the description down below. So always stay healthy, and nutritious, guys, and eat enough carbs. Don't forget to eat enough carbs. <laughs> And with that, I'm ready for work. But before I go, I'll take a B12 supplement. That's the only supplement I take. I will talk more about B12 in my following video in part two. And with that, goodbye for now. And I see you in my next video on Saturday if you like. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you are motivated and inspired right now to take massive action. I'm here with you guys. I know we can do this. And yeah, I'm happy to see you next time. I hope you have a nice day wherever, whenever you see this, wherever you are. Bye bye. Seven hours driving on the highway. Far away, far away, far away. Every moment I